Have you ever wondered how your brain morphs and molds itself every time you learn something new? This captivating process, known as neuroplasticity, is the brain's ability to reorganize itself both structurally and functionally throughout your life in response to your environment, behavior, thinking, and emotions. Now let's delve into the first change, the chemical change. Picture this, billions of neurons in your brain communicating with each other through electrical and chemical signals. When you acquire new information, these neurons get busy. They transmit signals to each other, a process that leads to rapid, almost instantaneous chemical changes in your brain. This is how that last minute cramming before an exam works. These chemical changes have a profound effect on your short-term memory and the short-term improvement of motor skills. For instance, learning how to play a new chord on your guitar or mastering a new yoga pose. Next, we have the structural changes. Imagine a bustling city with roads, bridges, and intersections. Now replace that city with your brain and the roads and intersections with connections between neurons. When you learn, the landscape of this neural city changes. Some roads become wider, allowing for more traffic. Other roads, less used, become narrow and may even disappear. This process, known as synaptic pruning, often happens during sleep. It's like the brain's way of tidying up. Removing neurons and synapses, it doesn't need any more to create space for new information in long-term memory. Lastly, we have functional changes. As you learn more and more, certain regions of your brain become more excitable, more eager to get to work, essentially becoming easier to use. This shift in activation means that the more you use a particular brain region, the more efficient it becomes. Think of it as a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets. For instance, a pianist's brain may functionally change to make the areas responsible for finger movement more efficient. So, to wrap up, learning is not a passive act. Every time you learn something new, your brain undergoes chemical, structural, and functional changes. In a chemical sense, your neurons fire off signals to each other, affecting short-term memory and motor skills. Structurally, your brain alters its landscape, pruning away unneeded connections to make space for new ones. And functionally, your brain regions become more excitable and efficient the more you use them. It's a fascinating, continuous process of growth and adaptation, a testament to the incredible capabilities of the human brain.